Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Pac Jr. Now, Nickel Normal was ran in my hits tournament like you got no idea. Like you got no idea. It was ran like crazy. And really, <clears throat> the number one most popular play everybody ran was Nickel Blitz 2. And it was kind of the same setup we actually spoke about a little bit. It wasn't crazy adjustments or anything like that. So uh, you want to make sure. And by the way, you can sub in safeties. Look, I have safeties here. You want your nickel on the side of the bunch. That's just for gun bunch and nickel normal. You want it on that side. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to Y, base align. There we go. Y, uh, left stick down, press. We're going to hit LB, pinch, LB, slant outside. Um, so that's all we did so far. Again, you hit LB, the left stick down is pinch, LB, right stick up, slant outside. There it is. Now what you're gonna do is, instead of, uh, it was still the same process, LB, left stick down, pinch. Again, practice mode is not doing it. That's really annoying. He should be down here and blitzing. He should be like this. And if you notice, they should be really close, right? There it is. It should look like that. You're gonna take Jenkins. And you're gonna stand over here. So you're gonna pretty much stand over in this general area. Now what's different is I had this guy blitzing. If you guys remember, I had him blitzing, I had him and I was standing here in my setup. Well, it looks like against Bunch, you wanna overload. I don't know why it's gonna, I, I believe it should be going in there. Okay, there we go. Anyways. You want to overload that side. Now, I did see a few players hit YYB and hard flat this left side for slants, and they kept a soft squat on the left side. But again, it's up to you. You can go double slants, bring these guys down a little bit. <clears throat> you stand right here. Let's block a running back, and then you go out and try to diagnose the play. So here it is. Boom. Bam. Uh... The cornerback will get in there. It looks like, I, I don't know if the practice mode is being weird, but it looks like um, it took a really, oh yeah, it got hit. And then it comes wide right around and you're there and you're trying to make a play. So that's kind of the setup, guys, is you wanna overload the, that left side and the adjustments are not crazy. You you really are just forcing your opponent to make hard, hard reads because the pressure's coming in again. Um, base align, press, pinch, slant outside. I want to see something real quick because it's really, really irritating. Base align. It won't. This guy won't move. It's so annoying. Here it is. Okay. And it should be like this. Here it is. Boom. Perfect. Okay. You can bring him in just a little bit more. It's up to you. I don't think bringing him in all the way actually helps out the blitz. You leave it like that. Okay. You can put him on a hard flat. Again, move him out if you want. Bring these guys down, and then you stand right here. Okay, let's block our running back and show you one more time. Boom. That cornerback generally seems to come in, or this blitzing, uh, this blitzing linebacker is coming in. One or the other. Baseline press. Boom, boom. Pinch. Let's put him where he should be at. Here we go. You stand over here. Now, this is what, if you watch the game I just posted with, with Clev versus Hollywood, you know, it, it's a chess match and it's hard because you got to make a fast read. And let's say that they go corner strike, all right? So let's say we go corner strike, something like this. Here it is. Where well, you got to set up like that, right? So here you go. Um, here it is. Here we go. Boom, set, hit. Boom. Boom. <clears throat> you have to, as a user, pick one side. And what's really, really hard is you might run out this way and they're going to want to throw that backside slant and then you can turn around and pick that off. So if you watch the Clef game, Hollywood did that to Clef. Um, he was here. He blitz him. You can bring these guys down like that. Put hard flats. He blitzed them. Let's put him here. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. I believe this is what. Oops. Let's go corner strike. I believe this was the setup. 
And this is what he did right here. Boom. And then he came right back down and he literally um, picked that off. So you just try to catch your opponent's tendencies and you can immediately run over there to help out and then turn back around to lurk the person and you're basically forcing them uh, to have to make a tough read. It's almost a guess and check and at some point you'll be able to get a pick. Um, what's really nice about this setup guys is What's really nice about this setup <clears throat> What's really nice about this setup is for a lot of guys who like to do let's go verticals and let's put him on a streak route Okay, so you might have something that this is a very popular play Here it is um, You are Again, you are to the running back side. So if you have really good user awareness, you can come out here, turn back around, pick that off, etc. right? So you can play around a lot or you can run out and go there. <clears throat> it's really, really tough because your immediate, your immediate thing is that you're sprinting to the left and then you can turn back around. And you really, I think me personally, you really end up causing a lot of confusion and again because we're blitzing these guys down through here um, that cornerback is just coming in uh, pretty much unclean majority of the time so that's what's really nice about this um, you can even put this guy in a uh, inside quarter like this put him on a hard flat bring him down base the line press boom 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 here it is Stand here and um, let's block a running back. We'll go corner strike again. We're going to max protect, right? And a backside slant. So, this is another concept we can run here. Um, here it is. Boom. Hit play. Hit that. Boom. That soft squad does a good job of pulling that back so you can alternate between soft squad and. Um, soft squat and uh, hard flat. So a soft squat does a really good job of protecting that. That inside quarter will stay with anybody streaking. So that's also really, really nice. And then you can come out and help play that there. And again, that corner just kind of seems to get around the edge there. So that's kind of the setup against bunch, guys. It's really a cat or mouse game. Um, and your job is to blitz both these guys over here and put some pressure on your opponent and force them to kind of have to make mistakes. This is the, the basis of this setup is really pressure based. It's pressure based. You're trying to get pressure right away. If you don't, you give something up, you give it up, right? So here you go, you can go hard flat, put him on an inside quarter. Again, let's go ahead and run verticals, right? Like this, here we go. Boom. I mean, it's it's really, 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 really tough if you ask me. Having to make reads, and like I said, I played against somebody, and it was really tough. So, just wanted to show that with you guys. It's it's kind of what is the meta, and it works pretty good against bunch. Um, and it takes a really good user to have to know how to shift and ID and and be able to kind of pick this up. But even then, you're still sending a lot of pressure so i hope you guys enjoyed this is like i said a quick little nickel normal gun bunch defensive uh video i'll be making sure to continue to give you guys the best information that i can all right guys take care peace